So we have our list of vulnerabilities in OpenVAS. And again, you probably want to do an export of them so that you've got a copy somewhere. Either you want to copy and paste things out of it, for example, to create your own report. You want to just hand it over wholesale. Maybe you want to do some importing into another tool. From the list of vulnerabilities here, we've got a pull down for the format of the report. There are many more options here than we have had in the other tools. There's anonymous XML. We've got comma separated values of hosts and of results. We can do HTML. We can do LaTeX. We can do PDF. And let's just select PDF. That was the default after all. So we're going to generate a report. And I'm just going to open it up so that we can see what we get for a report. And this looks very similar to some of the other ones that we have looked at. Because of the tool that we have opened this up in, we've got a little outline view on the left-hand side. And I can just click through here and we can see the results. So I've got a high vulnerability here, which is a remote method invocation server for Java. And it starts here and says continues on the next page. And sure enough, we've got the next page here where we've got a workaround and it says disable class loading. There are details here around how the vulnerability was detected. And there are a number of vulnerabilities and we've got a pretty long report. This isn't quite as long as one that we have looked at previously. This is 109 pages long. but considering the number of vulnerabilities that we've got, that actually is not an unreasonable number of pages to have. We do have a lot of vulnerabilities on this particular host. As I said earlier, this is a system that is designed specifically with a lot of vulnerabilities in it for this very kind of work. So getting a copy of Metasploitable is a great idea. I'm using Metasploitable 2. Metasploitable 3 is out. It's different than Metasploitable 2, and I still like using Metasploitable 2, even though Metasploitable 3 is available. It's a very different installation approach. Metasploitable is just an appliance that you download, open it up in VMware or whatever your preferred hypervisor is, where with Metasploitable 3, you have to build the entire image and Currently, it only runs inside of VirtualBox. So that's a couple of reasons why I haven't migrated over to Metasploitable 3 at this point. It's not quite at a fully baked stage, but it is available if you want to play around with it and you've got a copy of VirtualBox and a system that you want to install Metasploitable 3 to. OpenVAS, as I mentioned, is another vulnerability scan tool. It has similar capabilities to the other ones that we looked at. One of the advantages to OpenVAS is that it is entirely free. It is something that you don't have to go through any licensing for. You don't have to limit yourself to the type of work that you do with it where you would with the Nessus Home or the Nexpose Community Edition where it's a limited implementation, so you can only do 32 hosts, and it doesn't have the capabilities of the versions of Nexpos that you pay for. So this one is entirely free. It may not be as pretty or user-friendly as the others, but as I said, it doesn't cost anything. It comes with Kali. If you're using Kali Linux as your primary operating system for doing this kind of work, then certainly you can make use of OpenVAS, if nothing else, than to just get started on playing around with doing vulnerability scanning.